Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. just been so it looks like I went up there the right time it's covered in clouds now I got to go over that way get over there somehow going down here on this road eventually go over that hill down into uh, Pordock well where, where there's the church that's got the harvest folks I don't know probably have to go around this way down here look at a bit of a wow that is beautiful wow some houses here, it's not out the way as I thought it was going to be. There's a house right next to it. Didn't see that on the map. All right. Okay, so I'm taking the path route. So I take the path route. So, thank folks, I've got to keep going down that way. There's another path going over that way, but I'm going down this way. Hopefully this is the right way. Well, that was a really steep path, but the path was all right. So I'm guessing um, it's going to be the same again for this. Um, but it's actually a horse track. Obviously, it just said further down is the horse crossing, so the track is built for a horse. I've just come from uh, Stoke Piero, which has got a lovely church. Um, I've got to go up this Bride Away Lee Hill. Uh, Paul Bridge is that way, and apparently Horner is one and a half kilometres or one and a half miles down that way. So, unfortunately, Oh, I've got three miles to pull lock, but I've got to go up here. More up, 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 up. I hope that was three kilometres and not uh, three kilometres and not three miles. I'm knackered. Ah, oh, it's wider than the coast path anyway, and that's a natural trail. <coughs> At least it's not windy. <laughs> At the moment, I must have. I must have done loads of this already though. I must be just getting vertigo all of a sudden. So it never used to bother me. I mean, like I said, I've been all camping on my own in the coldest winter we had and when the country got covered in snow up the mountains on my own. <sighs> must have just lost, lost the nerve. Hmm, which way? I'm guessing this way is quicker. But what's the path like? Might go, I might go that way. If I go this way, I'm just going to take a look. Right, I've had enough of Granny's ride. I'm going to head towards Horner. And it takes me to a path, I think, that goes beyond the tree line. Actually get a view. I'm not going to be walking along bloody steep drops in this forest. And it's getting dark. Back near the area where I camped the first night. Wild camped. I've decided I'm going to go down to the shop. I've got... Uh, Three and a half hours to get there, which is enough time, I think. Uh, but I've decided I'm going to camp on the coast. There's some spots down by the coast. I don't. Hopefully, it's not high tide. That was a hell of a hike. I must have walked 100 kilometres in three days. 
two and a half days, three days, yeah, I say three days. Because the first day, Monday, I wild camped just up there, didn't do anything, then went back into the town. So Tuesday started the hike, it's Thursday now. So what's that? Tuesday, one day, Wednesday, two days, okay, three days. Three days, 100 kilometers. Okay folks, well I camped here last night, Porlock, Porlock's, I walk down that way, so I'm going to walk along the coast path back to Porlock and then get the bus. I love these old trees, they were they were here last time I did it, back in 2009, still there. Oh well this is a driving opportunity isn't it? Last time I came um, along here, when I was doing the coast path, um, I think it was two, could have been 2009. Well, it's breathtaking along here. When it's nice and sunny in the morning, on an autumn morning, breathtaking. There's some kind of war memorial here. Oh, I remember that. Well, unfortunately the sun's just gone in just as I get here to make the perfect drone video, going across all that uh, Everglades sort of woodland, I guess you'd call it. I don't think it is, but that's what I'll call it. And here we got a war memorial. It's got a, um, an American flag on there as well. It was some a British and American flag joined together. Okay, folks, if you want to read that and pause it, um, my eyesight's not too good. I I wouldn't like to say. I think it might be something to do with a plane that crashed here. Um, Here's some more information, if you want to pause that and read that. I took a picture of it as well, and if you want to pause that and read that, but it looks like a really nice memorial. It was here last time I come here. Um, didn't have any poppers on it then, but I don't think it did at least, but yeah. Oh, shall I risk it? <laughs> I indeed shall keep an eye on that tide. go folks it's England's coast path anyway I've got to catch a bus my bus is coming